Hey, what up, YouTube? It's Chris, Leanna, and Jay. Back at it. So Jay's in the hot seat today. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> All right. So today, as you can see in the title, we're having a little uh, birds and the bees talk. I just wanted to explain to you guys what influenced us to want to make this video with Jay. Um, this picture that I'm about to show you, I actually posted it on my Instagram. Um, it's because Javion sent me this text message and, you know, I just wanted oh, to- Oh, is that? What? Is it the, um, the, the picture, like the text message? That yes, the text message you sent me. Oh. <laughs> anyway, like to, um... anyway, I posted it on Instagram um, and I got like pretty, like really, really good feedback from it. So I felt like it was probably a good topic to have. So when he sent me this text message, I did laugh a little bit and then I sent him back a text saying, who are you smashing? Now the reason why I'm pointing that out is because I did get a comment from someone that was like, they were so disgusted with my response. Like, oh, you shouldn't ask him stuff like that because the person that he's considering smashing is somebody's daughter and blah, blah, blah. blah, blah. blah. I just wanted to explain, <clears throat> that is me and my son's humor. We had a conversation, mother to son, about everything. Simples. You know, that's just how that was. That was my response. Like it was like, <laughs> who are you smashing? You know, that's just those of you that's been following us for a while. You guys know our humor. You know how we are. That's just our relationship. So anybody else that might feel offended by my text message, I just explained it. So I don't want to read it later. Thank you. So all of that led to this video because we've had people also question her like oh my god how did you get such a good relationship with your son um give me pointers what can i do because i want that type of relationship with my kid this then and the third so here we are today explaining to you the birds and the bees and how we got there to start everything off jay i would like to ask you dum, dum, dum. what made you text me that like where did that even come from what was going on? Well, basically, well, why I text you that? It was like a prank, like I was being serious, but you know, I knew you was gonna take it as a joke, cause I was taking it as a joke too, kind of. Okay. But I knew, I knew you was like gonna, you know, take it as a joke. So I texted to you. I was like, hey, can I get this? And, that, you know? and then, basically, cause like what, cause what happened was, I was talking to this girl at this time, mm -hmm. and she was talking about coming over. Or whatever like a chill so i was like all right so by chill she meaning as you know that because that's what that's what she told me basically and so i just need i wanted to make sure i was safe when i was doing it, you know I okay mean. all right i respect that i appreciate that i'm actually i'm really happy that you feel comfortable enough to come to me you know when these kind of things happen because when i was a kid i didn't feel comfortable enough to go to my mom and tell my mom mom i need protection right. like I, I like i would oh my god no way i was terrified um so i am happy that we do have that relationship where you can come to me for that so i know you guys are looking at me i'm just sitting here i'm listening so i'm like if i'm intrigued in their conversation like i haven't heard before see Javian and i we have a different relationship i'm more of the like no you're not gonna have sex you can never have sex that's a no-no because that's my baby he's my man but we do have an open relationship as well. If I question him, he answers me freely. Like, he doesn't hold anything back from me. He just does it freely. Just openly tell me things. Like, he openly tells her. But if I ever want to know and I question him, he's very, very honest. And he tells me absolutely anything that I want to know. Just a lot of things that me as, you know, the mom that doesn't want to hear about him having sex. And I'm the, more, I'm the more realistic mom that yeah. understands <laughs> that he is growing up and that there's no, I, I can't ready. control his <laughs> life completely um so you know realistically i was a child before i was there and i know what i did and um you know i'm not gonna put that out there but i i'm just i'm proud of you kid i'm proud of you um i did Tap not <laughs> i did not buy the condoms however because he didn't need them you know, this is just, I guess, a little hype. Yeah, the co the conversation went about, and then after they spoke, nothing else happened after that. At least not that I know of. No, nah, she gone. <laughs> okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next question that we have for Jay is basically, 
when guys have these conversations it's usually man to man like they feel comfortable having the guy talk um how do you feel knowing you know that you're having these conversations with your moms is it weird having conversations with your moms as opposed to a guy i do would you prefer would you, to yeah. have these conversations with a man no i mean when i talk to y'all it's like nothing you know like i talk to y'all like if y'all like my friends you know like that, that i don't i see y'all as a mom figure too but like as a friend also like a dad like i don't i don't i think i prefer to talk to my moms over my dad because it's you guys cool. are cool that's it's cool. kind of cool though for Javion because whenever he's going through anything and he does talk to us about his issues, we give him both sides because she's more of the man mentality. Like she can think like a man. I think more like a woman. So she could be like, oh, you know, don't worry about it. She'll get over it. And I'm like, no, Jay, maybe you should apologize. And, you know, don't end things on bad terms. You know, oh my we, God, you make me sound so horrible. No, 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 no. I'm just <laughs> saying like he gets it from like he could get two different sides of it instead of him just thinking, you know, Oh, screw this. I just want to break up or no, 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 you know, whatever or, or, or however, whatever scenario could possibly be. It's cool because with the both of us here, he could get two different sides, a woman's side and a man's side. And he feels comfortable talking to the both of us. The reason why we wanted to ask you that question is because, um, you know, there's so many people in the world that believes that every child should have a mom and every single child should have a dad. You know, unfortunately or fortunately, <laughs> that's not how it is in this case. So... You know, it's like, I'm not a man. I don't know the things that your body goes through. And I, you know, I. so if something were to happen or if you were to do something, you know, in the room on your own and you had questions about like certain things in life, it's a lot of things that, sorry, kid. There's <laughs> yeah, a Jacob lot of things that, there's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things that I can't, you know, Give tell myself. you, I can't tell you, oh yeah, baby, this is going to happen to you. It's fine. You know, because I don't have those parts, but, you know, I don't feel like I'm, you Giving know, him any less of it. Yeah, I don't think advice. that I'm doing too bad. Like, you know, like talking to you about life and manly things. Yeah, no, you, you're doing good. I'm not going, I'm not going to like stress out enough. You're doing, you're doing a really good job. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because we go out places and the way that we all interact with each other, everybody thinks that that's her little brother. Like, nobody ever guesses, like, oh my god, that's you all son. Like, we, we go out anywhere and like, oh, that's my son. Like, wait, what? So our relationship and how open we are, it surprises a lot of people because they're like, wait, okay, that's your son. Why are you acting like his friend? And it's just like, this is our relationship. That's just how opinion. we are. But Javion knows, I mean, <laughs> when when it comes down to the nitty gritty, like, Javion is acting out, oh, mama comes out. For sure. And he knows not to play with me. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and just smile away boys so Javion oh has openly told us that he is not a virgin that we do know um the day it happened you know we were aware of it jay how did you feel expressing that to us like were you nervous were you scared were you scared of our reaction like what, what, what was your thought process when you were coming out to us telling us hey look i had sex i tried it yeah um i guess like I felt a little nervous on like y'all reaction, but I didn't really like stress it like that. Like I felt like maybe they'll understand, like because of you know I'm getting older or whatever, you know, you know I'm starting to understand things. So you know, I she cried. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will take that a million she times. She cried. I cried. It was it was tough on me because don't get me wrong, you know I'm not blind to the fact that my baby's getting older and he is going to start experiencing things and you know one relationship might not work for him but another one might for two years or three years whatever and then girls are probably going to come and go because he's young you know he's still getting to learn himself and know who he wants to be with and it was tough on me because like i didn't want to accept it i didn't want to accept the fact that wow you know not only am i seeing him blossom into this young man but now he's doing young men he's things. really becoming a man yeah so it's yeah. like wait a minute <laughs> time out can we pause time and just stay right here but you know i've gotten better don't you think yeah <laughs> <laughs> for me when it came to him you know finally doing you know adult things that i wasn't ready for um 
I just always wanted him and kind of told him that I wanted it to be special. I wanted it to be with someone that you're going to be with for a long time. Um, it's only happened with one person. Um, and I hope that it stays that way until he finds the right one so that it is, you know, a special moment. Yes. I want it to be special. I don't want it just to be something that you're just doing just to do. Like yeah. I want it to be special. I am giving you back your virginity. Oh man. <laughs> I always wanted that back. <laughs> you know, like, because I, I, I can never get another one, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> right. Oh, God. You screwed that up for yourself, boy. Yeah. It's okay. It happened. Um, I believe I found the one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah? Yeah. You in love? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Like I like I genuinely like this girl for real. And I wanna like you know, I wanna I wanna show the world no cow. I'm trying to go crazy. Oh <laughs> Well you know can you show me the world first? Please. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> buy y'all buy y'all cars in a house, suck I know mean, that's right. But I want you guys to know like Javion, I know um a lot of people looking at this might be like, oh my God, he's young. You know, he shouldn't have done that, this and the third or whatever opinion everybody's going to have. I mean, you're going to have your own opinion. You might not like how we're parenting. You might not um, you might not accept our relationship that we have with our son. But at the same time, it doesn't stop there. Like he's nowhere near disrespectful to these women. Like he treats them so good whenever he's in a relationship. Like he's really, really faithful. Um, he goes all out at Valentine's Day, birthdays, anything like that. With he, our money, but yeah, with yeah, our money, but out. you know, we that's how much we support him. Like we try to do our best to make sure that he's doing whatever he can on behalf of him being the person's boyfriend. You know, he's a really, really good kid. Yeah. But I wanted to let you know that just because you did find the right one doesn't mean that you have to do adult things with the right yeah, one. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I because I she that. is the right one, and you do feel like this is like this relationship is really gonna last. Take your time. Yeah, of course. That's what that's what we talk about. Like we talk about like taking stuff slow. Don't don't rush things. You know. Like we talk about it all the time. Like we was just like just like like take stuff slow. We don't rush nothing because that's how you mess stuff up. That's you know? true. That is very true. That's how you mess stuff up because you rush stuff and it just it doesn't work out. So it's best to take it slow. Okay, Jay. So I have another question for you. Stop growing. I know, right? Ugh. <laughs> so much sure. Um. So the other day you had text mama some nonsense. What was that he texted like at the <laughs> dare or something like that? Oh my god. <laughs> what did you text? I knew it was a dare though. I could tell just by how he texted. <laughs> she started laughing when you texted her. I'm but, like, oh my god. I know he's kidding. What just, was it that he texted? Um, can I get him some Viagra? Oh yeah, so he <laughs> he texts her, can you get me some Viagra? Obviously we know it was a joke. But um, he didn't even give me a chance to respond before he was like, Mom, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's just I, don't, I don't want you to, I thought you were going to freak out something because it took you a while to reply. You I was working. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. I thought... <laughs> you wrote, when you wrote that, did you have friends around that you were trying to like show off your relationship with Mama or? Yeah. yeah. So when your friends see the type of relationship you have with your moms, like, what do oh, they, they say? Like, what is. They get jealous. They get yeah. jealous. Yeah. They be like, I wish my mom was this cool. I wish I had a cool mom like yours. I wish my mom was like yours. Like I get that all the time. It's like dang, I wish I had the stuff you had. Your mom must really work hard, you know. So I'd be like, yeah, they cool. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hype us up too much. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this makes me so happy. Like because we have such a good relationship, and like he said, he feels like we're friends when he's talking to us, but. The most important thing that we have is a respect. Yeah. You know, aside from us having this really cool relationship and having fun all the time, like I do, I consider Javion one of my best friends. I say mm -hmm. it all the time. You know, um, aside from that, when it's time for, you know, parenting, you know, I have that respect from him. He's not just like, oh no, I, you you just like a friend and, and he's just gonna treat me any kind of way he respects me. yeah he's he able respects to, us I'm he's sorry, able to separate it he's able to separate the friend moments and the parenting moments like it's like okay wait my mom's not being serious now i gotta turn it down a notch you know so he he definitely can separate the two you know this kind of wasn't really a birds and a bees talk kind of it's more not. like uh our relationship right should we have the birds and the bees talk since that's what we're talking about? Yeah, I mean, we definitely can. All right, Kent. So how how are babies made? <laughs> you 
Nisi yung ina mami yan at yari. You don't have to answer that. Oh. No, but you do understand the importance of safety though. Oh, yeah, Clearly because I got that it. text message from you. So I do know that you do understand yeah. that it's like... Not even just pregnancy, but diseases and like all types of stuff. But diseases can also be um, transmitted through saliva, kissing, and stuff like that. So you know that is something that you also have to be aware about. Like it's not just sex; it, it could be transferred in so many different ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but do you take like do you have like sex ed or anything like that in school? Uh, no, I think that comes no. about in high school. High school? No, no, no. Because I learned I learned something about that. Like, Sixth grade. I was gonna say I got I when I was in middle school. Oh okay. Yeah, I don't know. Nah, they didn't really talk much about it though. Like they just said, oh, meiosis, mitosis, you know. Like, <laughs> I, I, of course, you know, of course, I remember that. Life is just different now. You kids have access to so much stuff, like yeah. way more than what we did as kids. Because even even I mean, Jamie has had a phone since what you were ten. Nah, I think 12? I started off with a um, iPod. Yeah, okay, so, well, he had a device. Javion has had a device for a very long time. And, you know, we knew he was watching porn. We caught him. Not caught him, but we took away the device one time, and I went through <laughs> the search history, being a mom, and I found out he was watching porn. And he was very young. He was very young. Very young. But the thing is, we questioned him about it. At first, he denied it. Like, he, his eyes opened up like a deer in headlights. It was hilarious. But then after that, he was kind of like, yeah... Cut that, cut the, cut, cut the, <laughs> cut the, cut the, cut the crap. <laughs> cut the get that, get that out of here. Well, I think we've made our point anyway. Um, you know, people are going to question me like, oh, so you, you was in that stuff, stuff when you were little. Trust me, Jay, you're not the only kid. Trust me, those boys, all of them, if you ask, if they're open enough to talk about it, I'm sure that they've done it too. Yeah, because I mean, when we actually found out that you were watching it, we made a couple a couple phone calls to men. Call some men, and they were like, "Oh yeah, that's normal. I was watching that when I was five. Like, wait, what? What are you talking about? How did you watch it? You're old, <laughs> right? <laughs> who's who's who TV takes you? <laughs> you? Who takes you still? <laughs> right. <laughs> so it is normal. I mean, that is definitely normal. As much as like. I don't want to admit it. I know Jay Sean is going to be walking down that path very soon. And mm -hmm. I will have to break all the screens on his iPads and iPhones and <laughs> <laughs> break his consoles. And don't show him anything, Jay, because I will punch you too. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm happy that we had this conversation. Um, I really just wanted to encourage all of you parents out there that have young kids that are not yet teenagers um, that or that are i don't know if it's too late now because i started this uh building this bond when jay was really young right. but i encourage um parents to not be so strict when it comes to certain things with their kids because as open as we are i know everything mm -hmm. he tells me everything there's nothing that goes you know unseen. Un unknown unseen mm -hmm. like he talks to me about everything and I know that it's because of the bond that we have and, you know, the openness that we that we have here. And I know a lot of you guys will think about it like, oh, well, if you weren't so open, maybe he wouldn't, like, go out there and try to find it or anything like that. Just because they're not talking about it to you doesn't mean they're not doing it. Please keep that in mind. Just because it's not being spoken about, trust me, they know. These kids are far from dumb. This world is a completely different world from where we were from when we were raised. Um, I feel like sheltering your kids is never a good thing. I mean, you can only do it for so long, but remember that's when they start getting rebellious and start doing things behind your back. And preferably, you want to you want to be a part of whatever it is that they're going through as opposed to being done behind your back because that's never a good thing. If they're hiding one thing, they're going to hide two, three, four, five. So just be open. Be open with your kids. It's a really, really important thing to do. I 100% agree with that. Like, you know... People tell me like, oh yeah, you have a good bond with your mom. And I'd be like, yeah. They're like, I don't have that bond with my mom. I, I can't, I can't tell my mom the thing you tell your mom. So I was like, oh, word. They were like, yeah. You know, like, cause like they have to do, they be like, oh yeah, I do this or I do that, but I can't tell my mom. If my mom find out, you know, I'm getting my, you know. It's tough. Well, yeah. That's tough. That like, is I, tough. I, like I, I, I kind of know. Like my mom wasn't sh that strict. She wasn't strict like that, but there was there were boundaries right. you know for us and 
and I wish that there weren't. I mean, now, you know, I'm an adult now. I'm an adult now, so now things are just completely different with us. Now I give her kisses in front of her mom. Eee. Nasty. <laughs> yeah, I think we're um, good. Is there anything yeah. you want to touch base on? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> it's done. That's all, folks. All right. And thank you guys for tuning in on our uh, somewhat Birds and the Bees talk um, with Javion. You guys get the point. <laughs> right. He knows what he's doing. It's my baby. My baby forever. I don't care how big you get. I told him the other day to come sit on my lap. Just because I wanted him to come sit on my lap because he's getting so big. I know. It sucks. I'm going to stop growing up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> guys, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And make sure that your notifications are turned on. And as always, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To, to meet. Oh, shh. Oh, oh, now you got someone's dipping with you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I really do. I forgot you were here for a second, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and as always, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. To, to meet, meet the, the Sullivans. Sullivans. Simple. The Sullivans.